Hello friends, welcome back to my channel I'm Sheikh Excel Master and this is your friend Farah Sheikh. And today we are going to learn how to install the Power Query in Excel 2010 and 2013. This video is purely for the Windows users. Those who are owning a Mac, currently the Mac doesn't support the Power Query and I hope in future they will also enable the Power Query for the Mac users as well. There is an add-in available for the Power Query on the Microsoft website and I'll be sharing the link in the below video description. All you need to do is that you need to go to this link and click on download. To check your system processor bit is that you can go to this window icon, right click and if you click on system, you'll come to know whether it's 64 or 32 bit. Or the other way is that you can go to this PC and you can hit on properties. So it will show you in the system type type of processor is 64 bit processor and you can download accordingly as we have just now seen that uh, my system is 64 bit so I'll select the 64 bit and I'll just select this release note as well I'll have a look on it later so all you need to do is next power query will automatically get downloaded and it will ask you to save in the destination folder which is usually downloads. Once the download is completed, you can go back to your downloads folder. So let me show you my friends. I have Excel 2013. And if I will open any new file, files option and I'll go add in center and form add in there's no power query is available here okay so I'll close back and I will install this file it will hardly take few minutes install Excellent. Okay, so we are done with the installation of the Power Query in our system and we will be opening the Excel file now. As you can see it is loading the add-in now. Earlier we used to not get that message. I'll select the blank workbook, go to file, now option, go add-in. Now from here select the form add-ins, go. You can see the Power Query tab has been enabled. And if you have noticed it, when I have loaded install the Power Query, automatically the Power Query tab was here. The same process is also followed for Excel 2010 as well. So those of my friends are using Excel 2010 and 13, you will get a separate tab for the Power Query as you have seen over here. And if you want to permanently delete this Power Query, you can just go to uninstall apps and you can uninstall the Power Query. Or if you just want to keep the Power Query, you can just go to Add In and you can just select Form Add In, go and uncheck this. So the Power Query will be still there, but it will be not being active. And another way is that you can just collapse this by customize the ribbon, right click Customize. On this power query or anywhere on the ribbon customize the ribbon and uncheck this basically from here it will just not show you in the ribbon but in the background the power query will be still there but from the add-ins as I showed you from here it will be disabling the power query and well for my friends those who are using office 365 or office uh, 2016 and the data ribbon tab you get this special block of area which is called get and transform your data and this is which you are seeing is the view of office 365 and for 2016 i think it's over here in this region but it works the same and uh, this is an amazing tool my friend i would strongly recommend you you should give a try and it's very helpful when you're doing a big data analysis and it will really ease your task 
and uh, stay connected to my channel my friends because there are more amazing power query videos going to come soon signing off for today your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master